Good morning, John Mayor Freshman. I'm Mr. Brody, and the pretty face you see also is Ms. Alejandra Diaz. And we're just gonna do a quick under a quick high school 101. A welcome to high school, welcome to Canvas and PCC Canvas, okay? Um, give me about 10 minutes of your time and we're gonna go through this, okay? All right, shoot. All right, so this is John Mayer Early College, John Mayer Early College High School, and this is the counseling department, me and Ms. Diaz. So what we're going to review is your high school graduation requirements and your college interest requirements or your A through G's. You're going to hear that a lot of times when you're going through high school. Your A through G's are to graduate, to get into a university. Um, you're gonna learn how to calculate your GPA. You're gonna learn who your counselors are and ways and reasons to set up, uh, set up appointments and a brief introduction to Canvas, which you guys already use on a daily basis. But yeah. So the counselors are, we have Miss Dr. Nancy Gonzalez. She's AEM um, ninth through 12th grade. And she has Puente, she has ninth and 12th graders. And she has all Puente students, no matter what academy you're in. We have Dr. Ben Aroy, he's all BE, Business Academy and Engineering Academy, and he has AEM 10th and 11th graders. We have myself and Ms. Diaz are the early college counselors, and you have Ms. Connie, she is the College and Career Center, um, I guess, liaison or tech, and then you have Ms. Selena, she is the dual enrollment advisor. All right, so what are high school graduation requirements? You're gonna find out what are, what are high school credits or units and how many credits do you need in order to graduate and what are A through G courses. Um, and the grades you need to earn, you need to earn to get credit for each class, okay? So to graduate any high school in Pasadena Unified School District, you need 220 units or credits. You need 40 hours of community service or work-based learning, and you have to pass your CA defense, okay? Um, high school graduation requirements. So a lot, you're gonna see a lot of overlap between the column in black, which is your high school, high school requirements, and then the column in white, which is your A through G courses, okay? Everybody needs to pass three years of history and social studies, so that's, World history, US history, and government and econs, just to graduate. You need four years of English. So that's freshman English, sophomore English, junior English, and senior English. And you need three years of math. And you have to pass math one and math two just to graduate. You need three years of science. So that's physics. You have to pass physics. You have to pass chemistry and biology. And, and or you could do apes, environmental science, or something else, but you have to pass physics and chemistry. Um, let me see, everybody needs to pass one year of a world language. You could do Mandarin, you could do, we don't offer Mandarin here, but you could do Mandarin, you could do any language we offer in Spanish, and maybe at some point American Sign Language, but right now it's just Spanish. You have to pass one year of a visual arts, um, if you're in the Arts Academy, you're going to have multiple years of visual arts, two years of PE credit. That's sports that you have to play the whole season, each semester, or a year of marching band in 50 elective units. Your A through G courses are the courses you need to get a C or better to be able to apply for a four year university, either at Cal State or UC and a lot of private schools and out of state schools. You need a C or better, okay? And for that, these are minimum requirements, okay? So that's bare minimum says you can apply. You need two years of history. So you're gonna actually pass that. You're gonna hit your four years of English and your high school requirements. You're gonna do your three years of math in a high school, but you have to pass math three, okay? So math one, math two, math three with a C or better. You're gonna pass your two years of science. You're gonna do the three. And you, the extra is the extra year of a world language. You have to do the same world language. So if you do Spanish, you do Spanish one and Spanish two. 
all right? Or if you do Mandarin, you do Mandarin one, Mandarin two. Or American Sign Language, one and two, okay? You can't do one language and then do another language. It doesn't work like that. All right, and then of course, you're gonna do your one year of visual arts, which you already have, and then one year of college prep electives. All right, that's bare minimum to apply, okay? So, like I said, a D, you can graduate high school with a D grade, okay? So, but you will not be able to meet your college requirement courses, your A through G courses, unless you have a C or better, okay? That's a C in your English, C in your math, C in your history, C in your foreign language, you know, C's in your art classes and things like that. But that's just the bare minimum to apply. It does not make you competitive, okay? And everybody has to pass their senior defense. So some of the online platforms, I'm sure you guys already know, we use Canvas at Jamir. And then if you're taking, you guys are all freshmen, so you're taking PCC classes and you have the PCC Canvas. They're two different canvases, okay? Um, we're gonna talk about the differences. So if you look on your right, you'll see Ms. Diaz's face for the account. And you see right above, you see the PUSD logo and it's blue. That tells you you're doing your, your PCC, I mean, your John Mirror classes, all right? So you have your dashboard, you have all your classes, you kind of know how to navigate that right now. All right, and you also have inbox, you can email your professors or teachers from um, your campus. Now, each class you'll see, so for hers, she has an early college summer bridge, which we, we did this in the summer. And then there's a passport class. For you, it will say, I'm gonna pick a random teacher, Mr. Perex Math 1. You have um, Ms. Gillum's English 1 Puente. And you have Mr. Harris's Physics ninth grade class. So you have all these different classes. You click on it and then you see the different assignments that the teacher gives you, okay? If you notice, it, you see right where it says early college summer bridge, there's a microphone. Each teacher could put an announcement. They'll have a discussion board and they'll have different assignments that are due. If you look on the right, uh, where it says uh, coming up, you have announcements and you have things that are due that, that are coming up. So you always know looking at your dashboard, what you have that's coming up that's due, okay? And that goes the same for your PCC, all right? Now, here, here's the difference. Anytime you log into your PCC Canvas, you're gonna see on the right where you see Ms. Diaz's toolbar again, you see the PCC logo and it's in red. Passing City College logo and it's in red. So always just thinking in mind, Passing City College, red Canvas. John Muir, PUSD, blue Canvas. All right, so if you're not in the correct Canvas, then you have to log into that correct Canvas. Now, if you're looking at this one, see, she has a bunch of different classes. That's because she has access to multiple classes. Now for you, yours will say counseling 12 or it will say counseling 11. You might also have health or another class, okay? But anytime you're in your class, you see the, where it says uh, fall 2020 counseling 12, you see the microphone. That's an announcement that your teacher's always gonna say, hey, here's what we have that's coming up today. Here's what we have that's coming up this week. Oh, we're not gonna meet in class today. We're gonna meet on, on Tuesday or Wednesday, all right? I would just make it a habit every day. Please log into both campuses and see what your instructor has for you. You see the little notepad with the pencil, that's an assignment. So anytime you have an assignment that's due or coming up or that the teacher posted, you will, it'll, it'll be blue. You see like a little number one or number two. So right here, where you see the uh, African-American history class, the history 29, you see as the one in this a message board. So you're having a discussion. So in that class, you're gonna have a discussion that's part of your assignment. And then you have the file folder, anything you have that the teacher mm -hmm. wants you to read or have access to or you know, annotate or anything like that, you're gonna have, you're gonna see all that. So anything that has the one, anything that's lit up, that means you have an assignment. On the right, you see where it says to do. 
So every teacher, every class assignment you have, it will say, oh, you have a grade, um, grade employing inter interdependence, right? So it's 10 points and it's due on this date. You always know what you have that's due because it's on the right hand side. And then you have things that are coming up. You have extra points and stuff like that. All right. So remember, red canvas, Pasadena City College, PCC. Blue canvas, John Muir, PUSD. You have your announcements. Always check your announcements every day. Always check your, um, if you have any assignments that are due every day. And always check if you have discussions. Just, just make it a quick habit. Like you could go through this in five, 10 minutes of class every single day and just say, oh, what do I have that's going on? Okay. Nothing. Oh, okay. Um, we're gonna meet. We're not gonna meet today. We're gonna meet on Friday at two p.m. Okay. Let me make it a note so I could be in the, on that um, activity. A lot of things about you guys' classes you're missing because you're not there. If you guys are there, you'll be able to get the work done. So participate. It makes this stuff a lot easier. Okay. Now, how to make an appointments with the counselors? We all have set more accounts. So if you see this link. Um, Dr. Aroy has his own set more. Dr. Gonzalez has her own set more. Ms. Diaz and myself, we have our own set mores. Now, truth be told, if you are struggling with getting on set more, just email us. Email Dr. Aroy, email Dr. Gonzalez, uh, email myself and Ms. Diaz and Ms. Connie, anybody you need to, okay? Reasons, academic concerns. You know, if you guys are struggling in your PCC classes, your John Muir classes, if you're having tech issues, email us, call us, something. Don't wait till the last minute, please. You know, when because we're not face-to-face, -face, you have to self-advocate. You have to tell us what's going on with you guys because we can't read your minds. And we're assuming that you're in class handling your business. And if you're struggling, let us know. Maybe we can have a meeting with you, the folks, the teachers, or maybe it's just a, a navigation issue. You don't know how to navigate it, or you don't know how to log in. Okay, family concerns. We all we're always here to help you guys through that process. Um, college and career planning. And if you're absent, you know if you're going to be absent for a long period of time. Uh, we've had a couple of students that had had surgeries and they had to be out for a week or two. So, but let us know ahead of time. That way we can inform your instructors, your PCC instructors, and your teachers. All right. Now, resources that you have, you have school counselors, which is Ms. Diaz, I mean, not Ms. Diaz. You have school counselors that is Dr. Gray, I mean, Dr. Aroyan and Dr. Gonzalez. You have your early college counselor, which is Ms. Diaz and myself. You have your college and career advisor, which is Ms. Connie. And you have your dual enrollment advisor, which is um, Ms. Selena. You have CAP. This is when you guys are a little older, you guys can use it now. But CAP is going to be a great benefit and great help to you when you're applying for your colleges and universities. You have PCC Talent Search in Upper Bound. You have UCLA BIPS. You have Learns Program, which is after school. You have Cal State LA Ambassadors. And you have Paper Tutoring, um, tutori tutoring 24 7. Um, mm -hmm. I think that's the last thing. But like I said, let me get out of this. All right. So, be honest with you, just if you guys have problems, email us, call us, call Ms. Diaz, call myself. If you can't find me, it's because you're trying to type in Brody Williams. Type in williamsbrody.mica at pusd.us. I'll, I'll be able to see your emails. Um, but yeah, please don't wait till the last minute. Um, log into your classes every day. And here's the thing, like these classes are free to you. So take advantage of them, knock them out. And we're here to help you, but you have to try. You have to put the effort in. Um, and if you're just having struggles with this whole thing, like let us know, but you can't sit quietly, okay? Um, these are all college courses, so take full advantage of them. They transfer, but you you don't want to get a D or uh, you don't want to get a D or F in your college class, and you don't want to get a W, okay? Too many W's affects your financial aid and affects money. You don't want to affect your money, okay? Um, Ms. Diaz, do you have anything you want to add or? No, I'm good. Thank you, Mr. Brody. That was very informative. I love it. Okay. So, um, yeah, 220 credits to graduate. 
40 hours of community service. You have to pass a seat of fence. These, you can graduate high school with these. You will not get into college with these. You need C's and better in all your core classes. That's your English, your math, your history, your science, your foreign language. Um, you have to pass a year of visual arts to graduate high school. And you need it for um, UCs and CSUs for your mm -hmm. FDGs. If you have any questions or concerns, email us. Don't wait, don't procrastinate, all right? All right, go Mustangs. Go Mustangs, peace.